hello everyone welcome back to my channel as college application season and all the college freshman move in vlogs roll around again i thought it would be helpful for me to share my stats and extracurriculars and in general how i got into penn because i remember when i was applying to college around september october i was trying to write my essay and i was going all over youtube to go through other people's stats and extracurriculars and seeing if i had the chance to get into my dream school or not i hope the extra data point of my stats will help inform your college decisions and be of some sort of help to you guys so please enjoy this very informative video of my test scores my extracurriculars my ap courses along with a video of me eating my breakfast. So first, let's talk about test scores. I did not take the SAT, I decided to take the ACT. And um, for the ACT, I got a 34. But I did take some SAT subject tests. Um, the two I took were physics and math level two, and I got a full score on both of them, which is 800. SAT subject tests are definitely not required, but it's a good way to indicate your strengths to a school, especially if you're really strong in one or two subjects. And for my GPA, if I remember correctly, out of high school, I had a 4.12 out of four, and that's because I took on some AP classes, so it goes above 4.0. And moving on to APs, I did take nine AP courses in high school just because there were a lot offered at my high school and I felt like I had the capability of doing that. But by no means is this absolutely necessary. A lot of people I know at Penn either took three to five AP courses and some didn't even take any. So it's not 100% necessary to get into a good college. But these were the nine APs I took. I took physics one and two. AP Studio Art, uh, Micro and Macro Econ, Psych, AP Calculus BC, AP Stats, and AP Chinese. And except for Studio Art and Psychology, I got fives on all the other seven. And lastly, I did take the TOEFL. I don't think this is required at all for people who are applying domestically, but just because I did go to an international school, even though it had the American curriculum, I took the TOEFL just in case because I wasn't sure how colleges kind of categorize different high schools abroad. And for the TOEFL, I got 111. Moving on to the extracurricular section, Common App allows you to put 10 activities. So even though I might have had more than 10, I really had to pick and choose like a balanced extracurricular list to show my um, dedication to community service, my internship experience, and also athletic experiences if you have any, just to show that you're like a well-rounded candidate and you have tried a little bit in every field. For the ranking, I would definitely put the activity that you were most invested in or have the most achievements in towards the beginning because that's probably the ones that they're going to pay attention to. So the first activity I listed was a market analyst intern and designer at a small company in Shanghai. So I did this kind of as a part-time role throughout high school and I decided to list it at first because it showed my experience in the real world apart from academic experiences and I thought that would make me stand out. So the second activity I have is a club at school called Women in Science where I planned and directed the execution of science outreach and demos at local high schools. It showed like a combination of volunteering and also my passion in STEM and science. And my third extracurricular was the Student Advisory Council, where I served as the representative between the student body and the administration. The fourth one I have is being a teaching assistant. I put this down because it showed how I was passionate about one subject, specifically physics, and I excelled in it enough that I was able to teach other students. The next one I have is being an intern at an art center, at my local art center, where I taught young kids painting at workshops, set up exhibitions, and provided assistance for guest speakers. And this was kind of related to the direction I wanted to apply for. I was aiming to apply for either art or art history at Penn, so I wanted to show them that I had some experience and commitment in art-related internships or volunteering. 
The next one I have is also related to art. So I had a couple of illustrations that were published in um, some textbooks. And I also had some recognition in pencil sketch, which is like a thing you can go through an exam and then they will accredit you as like a certain level. I combined these two together just to show my background in art. And the next two I have are both in community service. The first one is a club that I co-founded in high school where we paid visits to local orphanages and also interacted with physically disabled children and where we also organized charity concerts and events to raise funds for these children. I put this down to showcase my leadership abilities as well as my commitment to community service. The next one is a similar community service club at my high school where we aim to raise funds and donated these funds to annual events where we kind of purchase clothes and supplies and donate them to remote villages. The ninth one I have is an organizer, assistant, and athlete at a club called Marathon for All. It was basically more of out, outside of school fun activity for me where I organized weekly running activities and also participated in several marathons during high school. So I put that down just to kind of show my extracurriculars outside of school, if you will. And the last one I have here is uh, varsity badminton. I was a part of the badminton team back in high school and we played in several local competitions so I also put the ranking of the competitions in, on Common App. So those were all the stats and extracurriculars that I had for my application. I also wanted to briefly go over my essay but it's pretty long so I might make a separate video for that. In short, my essay was about how I was kind of interested in two different fields specifically STEM as well as art and I felt like Penn had the opportunity for me to explore both fields and kind of combine them in a meaningful way. I'm planning to make another video to do a thorough read through of this essay if it's of any help to people so let me know. That's all for today's videos. I'm planning to make more videos about my essay, my experience at Penn, other tips and tricks for the college admission process so let me know in the comments below what you think would be helpful for you. See you guys next time.